RimWorld Alpha 9 was just released, and I haven't gone through the entire patch notes quite yet. I only, you know, I, I glance it every now and again. I know booze is a thing, art got kind of a little overhaul. They actually pertain to specific events that are logged in a sort of history database on your colonists. Uh, three different types of sculptures you can make, small, large, and like this colossal size 2x2 two two thing. Uh, I don't know about new biomes though. I don't know. We'll we'll just have to take a take a look see and see what we can do. I'm uh, going with the seed. I don't know. We'll just go with Yeti A9. Why not? And mm, fairly large world. Generate it out. It's called <laughs> Alkalurups. Sporal act. Well, I thought maybe it was something backwards. Hmm. Sort of an interesting thing. But okay. I'm going to rock Cassandra Classic because, well, she's kind of normal and we'll just rock standard straight up 100% challenge. And these are all the worlds from previous playthroughs. Oh my god. Okay, what do we got here? I'm pretty sure. Oh man, that's, that's really... The desert's really way up there, isn't it? I don't think I'm going to be doing desert. I don't think I'm going to be doing tundra. Um, boreal forest, maybe. Might be doing that. Oh, there's an outlander settlement there. Who are they? The Notorious Organization, a power band. Oh, they seem like nice guys. We got some friendlies down here. The Garar of the Tree. It's a tribe. Um, what else did we get? I don't know if, like, if I were to go on this island, let's say, they don't really have a way to get to me. Well, I suppose they can still arrive at drop pods, can't they? Hmm, okay, never mind. I was going to say maybe they can't actually get me, because I know I encountered that once in Dwarf Fortress where I accidentally isolated myself from everything else. Made for a fairly boring play. Oh, here's one. Enjoys a stream in Outlander Town. Seems like there's not really that many settlements. It's very very friendly thing going on here only the one tribe that i'm seeing that's actually hostile but we'll move things along here and we'll head up to uh boreal boreal forest as it is i've, I've yet to actually record in here actually I really have yet to play in here to be honest we'll go for large hills i don't really want to do mountains hmm we'll walk we'll walk large hills that, that'll be fine and we'll go for fairly large not colossally huge large because that gets too big um actually let's kick it up to 325 by 325 and we'll rock there for anybody playing along there you go i do have names to give out uh it's sort of something that i do for those of you who are new to this um the patreon pledge system that i've got set up is if you pledge i think five dollars or higher you can have your own rim world name once the pledge goes through so i do have a list of that going and i think i'm going to be starting with at the very least um gambit 017 and madanui if they want different names that's fine but i never really got a chance to play with them in alpha 8 and people are starting with some fairly high skills nowadays and multiple like multiple traits i mean this dude's slothful really slow a slow poke so slow and sanguine so <laughs> hmm they're just upbeat they just they're they're just bad at getting things done and then a green thumb pros the file okay okay another pros the phobe that's not really gonna fly with me for long these these people kind of suck, <laughs> I gotta say. I think I might randomize a little bit. Uh, what's with the age thing going on here? I don't know. I know... Failed surgeries, that's another thing. Hmm, not sure what the age thing is all about. Oh, there we go. Chronological, biological. Oh, because like crypto sleep or something like that. Probably that. That would make sense. That makes sense to me at least. Okay. Uh, yep. Randomize a little bit. I don't want to do it too much. Ooh, a chemical fascination. 
intense fascination with chemical sources of enjoyment. We will consume as will consume much more of them, and it's likely to go on binges. Oh yes, alcohol. Hmm. Big face. Oh, that's your name. Oh, okay. Uh, masochist. Okay, nervous. Mm. Green thumb. Yeah, all right. Burning passion in medicine. You can cook. Mind construct. Yeah, we'll go for it. I mean, it's not perfect. Uh, definitely randomizing you. Neurotic, so you work faster, but you break a little easier. Um, you would whores the idea of getting pleasure from chemicals and avoids alcohol and drugs. Holy shit, is your melee good? Oh my god. Yeah, brawler, plus six melee, minus six shooting. Melee hit chance times 175. Damn, uh, I think I found Mata Nui. <laughs> okay, so we have we have a fighter. We'll basically be the hunter, I think. Um, Maybe even two of them, but you're going to be doing mining construction for a bit. You've got the art under wraps. Okay. Problem with you is that's like all you do is just melee. You can mine it at the very least. And green thumb profile. Um, we need crafting. We need a crafter. Some form of decent crafting. I'm about to just say fuck it and just go with whatever. Oop, that might work. Oh, you're too smart. Oh, I hate that. Uh, but you're a nudist. Oh, God. So all these people are willing to break easier. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Well, that's fine. Um, And she's a nudist. So that actually kind of offsets too smart a little bit. I'm okay with that, actually. That's a, that's a pretty... Ooh, Foundry Apprentice. That's a new one, isn't it? Grew up an apprentice of the foundries of an industrial world. Brains gave her metalworking seals and strong muscles, but stunted her artistic development. Plus three to construction and crafting, plus one melee, minus two art. That's fine. I'll probably be using you for construction and crafting. All right, let's just go. Holy crap, there's a lot of trees here. All right. And it's fairly cold, too. I didn't even look at the uh, average temp. Probably should have done that. In my previous playthrough, Alpha 8, I was hanging out in the desert, and there was, like, no hunting to be had at all whatsoever. So that's why I was like, you know what, I kind of want to go for forage, because it sucks not having any meat on the table. We had tons of veg, but when you're just rocking simple meals, we had a we had a huge stockpile of it. Kind of a bother. God, where is everybody? Oh, there we are. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, cool. So, Joe's, I think. Yep, Melee. Definitely, you are Mata Nui. If you want a new name, let me know. Mata Nui. Bang. And then we've got... Hmm, let's see here. I don't know, did Gambit mind being female? Because I feel like Jack Sprat could be, uh... Could become stumpy here because Jack Spratt was sort of sort of unfortunate before. We'll see. Worst case I, you know, move names around and we figure something else out. And this will be Gambit 017. Because they never really got much play in Alpha 8, and Jack Spratt was very, very unfortunate. We start with a normal plasteel knife. Still pretty generous. I'm okay with that new sound effect there. Oh. And Matanui, you can have that. And then we have a normal pistol, which looks a bit different. And a survival rifle. Hmm. Ten shooting. Okay, Gambit can have the rifle. And Jack Sprat can have the pistol. Man. Alright. Unforbid that, unforbid that. Um, I guess unforbid the wood. We'll just kind of set up camp here-ish. Just haul it a little bit. Do we have... Yep, we got metal right there. Compacted steel. Cool, cool, cool. Limestone. Not the sturdiest stuff ever, but... Well, actually... Actually, yeah, that, that's incredibly sturdy. Okay, never mind. Goodness. 
Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be doing the, um, the vault thing that I've done in the past. Alpha 8 actually worked out pretty well when I was just kind of building outside. We have geothermal right here, tons of trees. Yeah, I'm alright with this. This is a, this is a fine spot. It's lichen covered dirt. Just slows you down a little bit. I'm just wondering if we have like rich soil or anything like that. I don't see it though. We will call this home. Mm, all the buttons look nice. Ooh, four by six. Oh shit. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's the little things. I think, I think that'll be plenty good for that. And then chop some wood. Not a whole lot, but you know. Cool. Power. Ooh, a power switch. <gasps> Oh, right, yeah, because people can't, um, I can't actually, like, turn stuff off automatically anymore, right? Was that the, was that the thing with that? And geothermal, you finally need to research that, right, right? I think that was actually last build. Yeah. There's growing 700. Hmm, just seeing what's new here. Okay, yeah, there's shield thermal right there for 900 points. Okay. Um, so you'd have to go wind power then. Or solar. Wind power's a lot better than solar though, but... Costs more, and I would actually have to flatten out a nice area for it. Which isn't that big of a deal. I mean, I could just go... Uh, floor... Concrete, and just concrete out some space not quite that close to where the geothermal is we'll just kind of do it out here I don't really know the size of the wind turbine okay one more in each direction okay and there handled and then concrete base just to keep the trees from growing on top of it so because like if the tree is right there and it's in the wind turbines way it severely affects how much power you get from it so there's that uh, that does mean I will need to do a battery room for the time being, because... Well, no, wind power is constant, isn't it? Or no, did you change that? Oh, I don't know. We'll find out. Goodness. Okay, we'll have to go for something like this, I think. Uh, I'll be adjusting that pretty much constantly as time goes on, and cancel cutting those trees, because we have trees over here to cut. So chop wood. Burm, that area. Cool. Because otherwise, I think if you build the floor underneath the tree, it gets rid of it immediately, but you don't get the wood from it. I think. I don't know. Maybe it's changed. So there's a steel that we're going to need for that stuff. We need to build up a stockpile. For just stuff and things. We'll just put it here for now. Important. Chunks, corpses, sure, everything. Go. Make things happen. Who's constructing? Gambit, okay. Yep, makes sense. Given how much wood that we have around here, I think I'm going to just go for wood buildings for now. First things first, let's go for... We'll just kind of be a bit sloppy about it and just build off of whatever once was here. Some just random marble wall in the middle of the way that's that's fine and then furniture some wood beds keep it normal and structure just a basic wood door will be fine floors and go for a nice wood floor it's gonna look nice and shit <laughs> that's okay though and that's the bedroom settled we need to do a kitchen is the other important thing. We'll just build that. Mm. Well, kitchen and dining, really. We'll see if that's okay. Production. Cook stove. There. Butcher table. There. The cooler back here. Well, rather freezer. 
and then furniture and there because I if I do it here then if there's two people sitting at each stool they're both gonna try to eat here and that's not gonna work at least it never used to so by removing one of these it prevents that because otherwise it'd be like oh I'm gonna eat here oh this guy's already eating here well I'll just eat on the floor then so they're sitting on the stool eating on the floor and zero because there's you know a million trees in the way yep blocked by birch tree yeah I think you're blocked by a little more than that but that's cool wood door up here nope over here wood wall oh god there <laughs> floor paved tile for here and do you know what let's go paved tile in here too because I just like to look at paved tile I think it looks cool Ugh, God, what's going on here? Um, lighting, still need lighting. There. And down here. We're going to need temperature. We need a cooler in here. I'm queuing up an awful lot for Gambit. Hey, yeah, he'll deal with it. Cooler there. The heater in here, because a lot of the heat's going to be coming in through that door there. So this needs to be kept warm because that's going to be kept really cold. Temperature around here is hanging out at a comfortable 23. Um, so I think we're... Nights might be a little bit cold, but we'll see. Figure that out. Looks like they got mining pretty much under control. Jack Spratt, Mata Nui. Where's mining at? There it is. Yeah, go for... Go for constructing a bit. Once we get the cook stove and all that stuff up, we will work to get the cooking actually started. Okay, once we get the stuff built up, we'll actually start cooking here, but may as well assign the bill first. Butcher creature, just infinite. Just forever. Humanoid corpses? No. Animal corpses? Any new animals here? Buffalo deer, squirrel? Alpha beaver? I don't think that's new. I think that's just unique to this, and I haven't done this um, biome yet. I don't think any are new there. Hmm, okay. And zone, stockpile. One in here. And this is going to be... Raw food, not meals. Not meals. People are going to be like, yo, put meals in here because they freeze. I'm just going to put them out here for colonist simplicity. They just walk in, grab a meal, eat, and leave. That's fine. It keeps this door from having being opened all the time, making this room fucking cold and bleh. Worst case, if this food spoils out here, then I'm making too much. So that's that's just how I'm doing it. And that's really it. Ah, corpses. Um, animal corpses. Non rotten. Nothing new there. Hmm. Oh, some new stuff there. A couple new things. Don't know what the fuck they are, but that's still cool. A uh, psychic foil helmet, the personal shield. That's right. I remember reading about that for a bit. I attempt to stop any rapidly moving projectile or energy attack that comes from a distance. It does nothing against melee attacks or shots from point blank range. Prevents firing out as well. So basically, that's just something that you would give a melee guy to give them the opportunity to approach a person with a, uh, a gun, basically. That's kind of a lazy fix, but I'll accept it. That's fine. Uh, it could just be reworking accuracy, um, standing versus moving targets. Could also be a thing. So your dude who's decent with melee would be like trying to dodge and do juke. And while you can't actually dodge a bullet, you could, you know, make it difficult for the shooter to hit you still. Yeah, that's fine, though. It's whatever. I just play the games. Can we get this stuff hauled, please? It's gross. It's in the way. I don't like it. Get it out of here. 
then power conduit down from there. Feed it along the wall. Just all the walls just in case the building gets, you know, shredded by mortar fire or something. There, I guess. MRE still doing okay? Yeah, 21. Okie dokie. Also need to get a prison set up real quick. Doesn't need to be anything too fancy, but you know how it is. Gosh. Um, I'm definitely going to have to like renovate and move buildings as time goes on, but I'm okay with that. Go for an actual steel door for that one, just in case you try to break out. And pave tile underneath the cooler. Yeah, it gets pretty cold outside. Everybody's just kind of passed out out there. Hmm. Barely getting some power blocked by pine trees. Yeah, we gotta get these beds done. Chopping down the tree. Did not get the wood for it, though. Okay. Man! There we go. is in. Drop the power down to... Let's go minus 10 Celsius. Just because when that door opens, some of the temperature is going to be flying out. Well, actually, all of it's going to fly out because I need to... I think I actually do need to double door it. Ah! Oh, I'm out of wood. Ah! Ludion. Sure. <laughs> it was Ludion, but I pressed D, so whatever. Um... Maybe we need more wood. So... Chop wood. Chop wood, chop wood. We can actually move through trees now? That's actually really nice. Well, four trees would be blocking, so this would be obnoxious because nobody could actually get into the kitchen, so I would need to actually have a floor tile here <laughs> in front of the door. Well, it's not really a problem. I tend to do, you know, pads for walking anyway. It's still just one of those things that gets a bit annoying after a while. The guys at medical, just in case something happens. A fervent researcher from Joy's stream. Hi, Kit. Ooh. Ooh, hard mental break and soft mental break, right? Soft mental break being like, oh, I need Lycar to feel better and stuff like that. Wow, yeah, you do medicine and research. Jesus. Good on you. Oh my god, where are we? There we are. Up. Now we're kind of in the middle. Oh, that's good. 